So Mandrake is the newest Shutter original, and this one comes to us from Ireland, and it is about a probation officer who takes a case that no one wants, and it's about this, uh, she takes this case of this woman who just got let out of prison, um, she had been burned and beaten by her husband, and she killed him with an axe, and so... The town knows her as a witch, and there's all these stories about her. And when she gets let out, a couple kids go missing. And, of course, the town's blaming it on her. And this probation officer is, like, you know, trying to figure out what's going on with it with the help of her ex-husband, who is a cop in town. Um, so, I'll say that I was really into this. For the first half and was like really feeling it I was like oh I really like this idea this setup um, I didn't even make my Hermione Granger joke that I meant to in the beginning when I was going to do the Mandrake or Mandagora <laughs> uh, and I'm kind of bummed at myself Aww. for that but that's Just okay edit it in. nah it's alright <laughs> um, but yeah this is I mean this is straight the Mandrake from Harry Potter I mean we, we, we do see one that looks pretty much exactly like uh, what they see in uh, <clears throat> Chamber of Secrets. So yeah, I um, mean mandrakes are like you know uh, part of mythology. I know, I, guess, I know, like, I know but, but it just looks it looks very very similar. I guess it's yeah. how it would look. It's like a little root baby. Yeah, a little yeah. root baby. Um, but yeah, I I just I don't know. I I lost something in the end. I I felt like. It had this really cool setup, and then the last maybe like 30 minutes, I was just kind of blah on. I felt mm -hmm. like it very much lost its eeriness, mm -hmm. even though it's weird because I feel like the first half leaves it almost up for this interpretation of like, is it supernatural? Is it not? Mm -hmm. And it's like really eerie and unsettling it mm -hmm. feels like it's setting up that kind of tone and then once it kind of reveals itself to be one or the other i don't know it, it just kind of lost its in intrigue to me and it, it's it's not because it revealed it it's because it didn't feel like it really stuck to the decision it made right mm -hmm. like it went one way but everything felt the other way, even though they showed that it was that way. I guess with it having a mandrake in it, right. it's very obvious that it that it is supernatural. But it's just that, so I guess there's no point in beating around the bush with that or trying to keep it spoiler free on that. Yeah, like it reveals itself to be supernatural. But mm -hmm. I felt like the last 30 minutes or so, most of what was going on felt like it wasn't. Like yes. it felt like just people. And yeah. that kind of just made me go, oh, well, I mean, why not just, let's go all supernatural. Let's go crazy. Let, let's let's have it, because witchcraft is something that's underutilized in horror. And I felt like this was setting up some really cool witchcraft stuff. There's a really cool costume. Um, there's, there's some risky stuff going on with some decisions that they make. Uh, so I was like really into it. And then, and then, yeah, the, the second half, I was just kind of like, oh, so they're just not going to do anything with this. Yeah. I think, I think that you're right. The first half of the movie sets up a really cool atmosphere and it, I actually think that they shouldn't have had a reveal. I think that it should have remained ambiguous. I mm -hmm. would have liked it a lot better that way with the mystery still intact because the way that it is handled feels very confusing and like, they didn't really want to pick one side or the other, but it's done in a very kind of jarring way. Hmm. Um, but I liked the acting from everybody. I mm -hmm. was really into um, all the characters and like the way everything looked. I really liked the aesthetic of the film. Um, and I wanted to really love it because we don't get enough witch movies, but I did not really love it. Yeah, I just thought it was fine. Yeah. And that's mostly on the story and where things go. Yeah, it, it won us over in the first half, which is like yeah, absolutely. the hardest thing to do, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is to like get the audience on board. So like they got me invested in the main character. 
They set up this story with her and her son that I felt tr was tragic and, and made me feel like, oh, like I really feel for this girl, even mm -hmm. though I don't even know what the situation is to, to make the situation what it was. Mm -hmm. It just, I felt pity and I felt like, oh, this is, this is, this is very sad. No matter what happened, this is sad for everybody. Um, but towards the end, when I think we're supposed to be emotionally connecting to certain aspects and the ending and all that, I just, mm -hmm. at that point, I just didn't really care. Yeah, I I definitely lost my um, engagement with the characters towards the end. And um, I just, yeah, I wish that it had been more ambiguous. I think it would have done a lot of service to the story and those, like, especially the main character and what she was going through. It could have been really neat and, like, you know, to blend psychological and supernatural, yeah. which is one of my favorite things. But I just feel like it was kind of a failure. See, I think we wanted two different films for sure because mm. I think you wanted it to remain more ambiguous. And I think that would have been fine. And maybe it would have worked really well. I don't know. But my personal opinion and my take on this film would have went, like, full all in on the supernatural. Mm. Full all in on the climax and just, you know, the witch stuff and, mm -hmm. and um, what is it, the... the walker man. in the woods or oh, something the wandering man the wandering yeah. man i i would have loved to have seen that like fully mm. embraced and fully utilized and just I mean, used to its maximum sure. potential yeah that would have been cool <clears throat> like supernatural witches is always fun especially when it's horror yeah. but i think that there's certain themes in this that just lend themselves really well to that kind of like borderline between real and unreal yeah so so that's about it um i mean i guess if you're really really into witch movies um you might like the second half better than we did so it might be worth a try mm. um it's got that kind of washed out draw feel to it um that a lot of like slower burn modern horror does mm. <clears throat> that kind mm -hmm. of like muted palette tone um like it's set in the freaking uh i don't know rural area and just small town feel it's and... just really dark <clears throat> dreary yeah. yeah but man they really had me and then they just kind of lost me yeah it's a shame oh well to be fair though they had me and we paused it to go see Black Panther. Mm. And then we came back. And I was definitely in my head thinking about that movie. And it was from like that point. We stopped it about 30 minutes in. And then it was about not long after that when we came back and pressed play. That I was like not engaged anymore. Um, so it might have been the distraction. Maybe if I watched yeah. it all the way through. And I was not distracted in the slightest from thinking about like all the things I just saw in that movie. Yeah. You know, the other movie, uh, which was a three hour movie. So it was a long gap. In it's between. totally possible that that definitely, you know, influenced our opinion. So. I don't think it influenced it drastically, but it might have influenced so it a little. But, but I don't think I would have loved this. I no. really am confident in that. Yeah, I feel the same. I don't think it was a major influence, just a minor one. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, not a recommendation, but um, no. not a terrible film. No, not at all. Well made, just didn't yeah, go... great production quality. Didn't go the way that I would have preferred, mm -hmm. for sure. That's yeah, it. me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. 